All right, you may or may not recognize this guy right here without a helmet and a jersey. This is former Ute punter Tom Hackett, two-time Ray Guy Award winner, uh, the college punter of the year. He just joined our KSL team, and hey, Hi. after all the years up on the hill as a punter, right. you never joined us on Sports Beat. We never invited we saw, me, Well, we did not, that's true, but now you're here, and we'd love to have you. Yeah, well, no, I'm excited. Thank well, you. Welcome to the gang. Uh, you probably love the Super Bowl. 14 punts between the two teams. I, uh, I tweeted it out. I said, this is by far the best Super Bowl I've ever watched. It's not even close. <laughs> All right, well, give everybody your uh, Twitter uh, so they can follow you. At Tom Can't Hack It. Okay. All right, we brought you in. Uh, you're a big soccer guy. Real Salt Lake opens up the season uh, in about a month. They held their media day on Monday, so we sent you out on your first assignment. And uh, you played Australian rules, not soccer, but right. football. There Correct. is a difference that I learned. Yes. All right. The so, hard way. You learned the hard way. I know. You know what you're talking about when it comes to that. So uh, how was it going out there and uh, chatting with your first assignment? It, it was sensational. Look, uh, I, I see myself a bit like a chameleon, Rod. Uh, I, I dress for the occasion, I'm coming on TV, put the collar on, nice, uh, nice sweater. I, I wasn't anticipating doing a TV hit going down to RSL. You had sweats and cleats, though. You were prepared for what was about to happen. Yeah, well, my pink Adidas sweater. Adidas? Uh, pardon me, Adidas. Okay, there you go. Um, trying to blend into the crowd. Look European, right. they have a few Europeans <laughs> down there. Okay, uh, here dear. is Tom Hackett's first assignment out at RSL Media Day. Mike Petke with us here at uh, the training facility on Media Day. Mike, expectations for this upcoming season, obviously. Uh, the way you ended last year must be promising, and uh, I know you have talked about it in the past. You've, you've been itching to get back and get this season underway. Yeah, you know, it's been a great two weeks so far. Um, I think it's been a long break for not only myself but the players. We couldn't wait to get back in. Um, as far as expectations, uh, you know, we, we just want to build on what we ended with last year like you said you know as long as we see positive strides in this preseason which we had we have in two weeks now and on a weekly basis where we're, we're getting higher and higher then I'm hoping that success is inevitable yeah I think it was huge that we made the playoffs last year because um, you know that's something that you can build on you know it gives the group you know the confidence to to know that we can be there and we can be there towards the end uh, of the year and uh you know make a push for the cup if we continue to prove again we'll find ourselves in the playoffs and then like we say anything can happen so my main focus is our consistency through our full body of work and then when we get to the playoffs we'll see what happens uh we do have carl beckman with us hang on hang on uh kyle you know he played Australian rules soccer, okay, and he's award-winning punter for the Utes. Sport, yeah, Australian rules soccer. I mean, okay, and he's award-winning punter for the Utes, so he knows what to do with a football or a ball on his foot. And he's been bragging about how good he was in Australian rules soccer. There's something on the internet I'm sure we could find. So I got a ball here, and I want to see if he can live up to what he's been saying and take you on the pitch. Is that, all, is that all you got? What are you talking about? Is that close. all you got? I got right to the red line, and then he tackled me. I told well, you. Well, you're supposed to get it past him. One more. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see what you... He got his head on his back. Oh, my gosh. Okay, all right. Okay, hold on. He wasn't even trying just then. Yes, I yeah, and I gave everything. <laughs> <laughs> We're done before somebody really gets hurt. All right, now, in all fairness, of course, Kyle Beckerman's one of the best, but you did injure your hamstring just a couple of weeks before playing soccer. That's right. I, uh, I tore the hammy off the bone, Rod. Uh, I did it many times playing football as well with how often I punted my first two years. So I'm used to it. I'm not yeah. going to use it as an excuse. Well, then we decided to have a punting challenge between you and Beckerman, right. and things worked out a little bit better in your favor, as you would expect. Right. But he did okay, too. Yeah, no, for a, for a grandpa, he did well. Here yeah. it is. I, uh, I'm glad you're finally showing it. Boom. I mean, look at that. Yeah, there goes the right hamstring hey, for the man, 50th we'll time. Uh, and then the old man, Carl Beckman, gets yeah. up to the plate. And I did beat him. Can we confirm yeah. that? Yeah, but he wasn't trying. He definitely wasn't trying. Yeah. Okay, no. now, okay, your hammy's okay after that, right? You still got it. Yep, still on ice. Okay, now, you saw the uh, video of you running. That was in the Las Vegas Bowl. Uh-huh. Okay, instead of punting it. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know this, but you got a concussion on that play? Well, I haven't 
You didn't even get hit. Well, I haven't been diagnosed with a concussion, but I think I'm going to diagnose myself. I whiplashed my helmet, and okay. <laughs> Carl Whittingham or Coach Whittingham wraps me up in cotton wool, or at least he did. And so, you know, <laughs> one tap to the head, and I'm done for. All right, so uh, the expectations for Ralph Salt Lake, they're high after what happened uh, uh, in that playoff push last year. Right, and they've added uh, Everton Luis, center defensive midfielder, very talented uh, Brazilian coming from the Italian top league. So can't wait to see what he adds to the mix. I am still somewhat concerned about the striking position. Corey Baird filled that role predominantly right. uh, last year. He played very, very well, or he has been playing very well at the national team level on the right wing. So, All right, we can uh, watch some of your stuff and read some of your stuff on kslsports.com. Correct. And you also have a podcast with... Andy Phillips. And Special what is that podcast? Special Forces Gang. If you're worried about the title, you'll have to li listen to it. All right. It's interesting. Bud, it's great to have you okay. here. Hey, thanks for the first invite. Yes. Yeah, hopefully I'm back. Thanks for accepting.